inaugural ODI World Cup was slated to be played in England. A total of eight teams competed for the big prize. Teams were divided into two groups of four each. England was ranked one and was also the home team. They were part of Group A. West Indies ranked top two line Group B. Australia and New Zealand were ranked three and four respectively. India and Pakistan in at five and six while Sri Lanka and East Africa being associate nations fill up the last two spots. In what was still an unknown quantity, not many knew how would the tournament play out. The tournament ignited passion among cricket lovers across the world. They came to enjoy the format knowing every four years there would be a world champion. The success of the 1975 tournament meant that the World Cup is here to stay. Many stars broke out in the first edition itself. Hello viewers, welcome to Stumps and Bales. This is your host Vineet Prashish. In this video, we will look at the game changers of the 1975 World Cup. Number 1. Glenn Turner He was the standout batsman of the World Cup. Glenn Turner was the leading run scorer in the tournament with 333 runs. He played 4 matches and averaged an outstanding 166.50. Turner scored 2 compiling centuries with the highest score of 171 not out against East Africa. He could have added more to his kitty and the Kiwis made the final but Turner nonetheless showed his potential on the world stage. Number 2. Gary Gilmore He had a terrific World Cup with numbers that still stand the test of time. Gary Gilmore played just a couple of games in the World Cup. His numbers though gave an impression that he played a lot more. He returned with the best figures in the tournament which incidentally came in the semi-final against England. His 6 for 14 reduced the home side to a 93 all out, Gilmore picked up a fiver in the final to thereby finishing with 11 wickets at a brilliant average of 5.63. He picked up a wicket every 13 balls in the two games. Number 3. Clive Lloyd The West Indian is regarded as one of the finest captains to have ever led a cricket team. Clive Lloyd, legacy apart from his successful stint as test skipper remains in the fact that he led the Windy side to two successive World Cup titles. He was the 8th highest run getter in the tournament, his most vital contribution though came in the grand final. Lloyd hit a superb 100-102 of just 85 balls which proved to be the difference between the two sides. Thanks for watching this video and if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to Stumps and Bales YouTube channel and also don't forget to follow all our social media handles as well. That's all for today's segment. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care.